Hey, good morning. Um, I just got back from a nice 45 minute walk um, around my neighborhood. And now I'm sitting down to have some breakfast. Today I wanted to talk about a few common myths of what makes a healthy breakfast. We have been told what's healthy for breakfast. I do want to say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but it doesn't matter when you have breakfast. What matters is what you have for breakfast. I've seen countless ads saying that you need to eat eggs for breakfast or eat this yogurt or this cereal. But when you look at the content of yogurt and cereal, or when you look at what eggs do when consumed um, and how they affect your body, I think we would feel led to rethink what we deem healthy for breakfast. If you look on the nutrition label of many common cereals, you will see that the first ingredients are going to be a wheat corn um, kind of thing and then you're gonna see sugar. In many of the cereals you see high fructose corn syrup um, and just evaporated ingredients. And then there's a long list of, you know, chemicals that you see on that list as well. And, you know, people know that and, you know, we've found a way to live knowing that we don't know what we're eating. I would like you to challenge yourself and I would also like to challenge you and ask you to think deeper about that and to also think about how we can gain more control over what we put into our bodies. There is a documentary online. It's called The Game Changers. It's on Netflix, or it was on Netflix when I saw it. It could be gone by now, but even if it's just on Amazon, I would encourage you to buy it or rent it because this documentary changed um, many things that I thought were right. I really just want to be honest with you guys and I want to give you information and allow you to make your own decisions about it. Watching this documentary, um, I learned about how things like eggs and certain meats, actually all meats, how the different ways that they impact the body. Um, many of these ways can be positive. You do gain a lot of nutrients and, um, you know, healthy fats from meat and eggs and dairy products. However, if you weigh the costs of those small benefits versus the large health damages that can happen over long-term use and just consumption of these things, I would say that the cons are more than the pros. So when you see a pancake ad and you have all this sugar in the pancakes, you have your meat there, and you have your eggs, when you look at that breakfast, it's actually, you know, when you look at the contents and the effects that those things will have on your body, it's actually not something you wanna eat at the beginning of the day. So, what do you wanna eat in the beginning of the day? You want to eat something that is going to fuel your body, give you energy, and not make you sleepy. I have found that the main foods that do that are vegetables, beans, fruit even. And I found that the foods that make you more sleepy are going to be your heavier pancakes, eggs, and meat breakfasts. The effect that cereal has on the body is really just this kind of sugar high, just like eating candy, just like eating some kind of dessert. You're going to have a sugar high from all that sugar, and then you're going to crash. So here I have made my breakfast. It took five minutes because I had some things in the fridge um, just kind of contained waiting. That was my beans here and my rice here. This is a Moroccan and cauliflower um, garbanzo bean mix. It has um, tomatoes in it and turmeric and seasonings. And then this is some kale. This is what took the longest just waiting for it to you know, condense a little bit. But yeah, this is a breakfast that I would like to have in the morning because this is going to fuel my body. And this, since it's the first thing hitting my stomach other than water, it's also going to um, 
allow my metabolism to get moving. So I just wanted to do a quick video about breakfast, things that you um, we should consider when we are making our breakfast. And now I'm going to show you a little bit about the, the seeds that I had last week. All right, so these are fenugreek, fenugreek seeds. I put these in water. I put them in water and I let them soak overnight and they expand two to three times their original size. When they expand in this cold water, it allows the seeds to release healthy and delicious nutrients. And so I just like to drink this. It's so, um, it's nearly flavorless, but it's so, I just feel like it's doing something to my body. <laughs> I know that it clears up my skin and I actually haven't been drinking it lately. And so my skin doesn't look very good, but um, it grows my hair because of the vitamins in here and it does clear up my skin. I've actually made hair gel out of this stuff. I make hair serum and I just put it on and it's helped my hair to grow a lot and for me to retain my length as a black woman. And so I just wanted to share that with you and encourage you to try to drink fenugreek water. It's just a natural herb that can help you out. So that was my video on breakfast. And next week, I may be talking about something fitness related or related to nutrition. So just drop something in the comments. What do you want to hear about? I wanna give you the information that you want for your healthy lifestyle. That was all. Have a great day.